CataractCoach.com. Cataract quiz. Where's the red reflex? Seemed like a routine case, but there's no red reflex. Why is that? Let's watch. Now, this obviously has been sped up. Looks like a tough case. Maybe some prior trauma, prior inflammation in the eye. You can see some sneaky there, some iris atrophy. It's a pretty dense cataract. Putting in, let's see, uh, a spatula to help break the sneaky. Okay. And now let's take a look, see what we got here. And now it's time for, let's see, viscoelastic. Maybe try pan blue. Try pan blue dye going in. So you put a big aliquot of tri pan blue dye. No air bubble in this case. Okay, dilute it out. But is this a traumatic cataract? Is there traumatic zonular loss? Is there a gap between zonular support that allows tri pan blue dye to go into the vitreous cavity? I think that's our issue. So let's see the main incision being done here. And... Now we'll start off with a rexus here. Let's see, the capsule looks pretty reasonable. Good looking rexus here. So what can happen sometimes, especially in a traumatic cataract is, you can get the tripan blue dye going into the vitreous cavity and you'll lose your red reflex. And that becomes a challenge, especially if it sits right there in the inverter space, right in front of the anterior hyaloid face. Then it becomes quite the challenge. So here's the rexus is pretty much completed. That looks pretty good. I like that it's a generous size rexus. And now you're going to do some nucleus removal. But again, the challenge here is you're not going to have a red reflex. So we already saw the title picture. We know what's going to happen here. You also have to be on the lookout for zonal weakness. Hey, did I tell you about cataractcoach.com, our teaching website? You can learn so much more. Free PDF book, free curriculum series. Sign up for the free daily email. You don't have to go to YouTube. I'll send the video in your email every day, free. All right. Here's a groove down the middle. Looks like a stop and chop type of case. That's good. Center that scope up. And let's see, maybe oh, a chop here. So maybe making a little trench first and then chopping and then chopping again. So a young surgeon here is obviously very adept with the chopper. That looks great taking these pieces down. But again, as you empty the bag, since you have the tripan blue dye that went in the vitreous cavity, there is going to be some sort of zonal weakness. So you got to be very careful with that. And as you get these pieces out, watch, there's going to be, again, no red reflex. And now you know the reason why. Now, you don't have to go in the vitreous cavity and take out the, the tripan blue dye. You can actually just leave it be, and the patient's going to have the cyanopsia. They're going to have the bluish vision for a while, but it'll eventually absorb, and you'll be gone, or it'll uh, be resolved, and the patient will be pretty happy. So just to hear, at this point, I think the more important issue is be careful of a weak zonal support, and then also, you'll have less of a view to see the posterior capsule, so you need to be very careful with that also. So taking down these pieces here, aspirate, aspirate, and very nicely done. Again, we've sped the video up, so don't feel like you need to operate this fast. On a case like this, I would tell you to take your time. Take your time, because you really don't know what to expect here. So taking the pieces out nice and easy. And now there is, there's that blue reflex, the dark blue reflex from the tripan. So I do like the idea of more viscoelastic. Push the capsule back. Give yourself a bigger buffer. That's a smart move there. And now the surgeon can evaluate a little bit better. Okay, what's actually going on here? Here, I'd try to get, yeah, I'd get the pieces up. I'd get your cataract pieces up out of the bag. Just so I want to stay away from the bag. Because, again, the bag is hard to see. Hard to see the posterior capsule here. So get those pieces up. Kind of iris plane and just emulsify them, taking your time here. And there we go. Another one goes down. Pretty easy. That looks pretty good. So is there traumatic issues? Maybe. Probably. Is there a zonal weakness? Hard to say at this point. Should you put a capsule tension ring in right now? You know, maybe. There's probably no downside. You obviously see the blue dye that's gone through the zonal support somewhere into the vitreous cavity. So if you can get enough of you to put in a capsule tension ring, it may be a good idea here. I don't think it's absolutely mandatory or crucial, but it could be pretty helpful. So there's a big viscoelastic fill. Let's see what we're going to do here. Are we going to just put the lens in? Checking the incision, make sure there's no vitreous probably. There's the trying to adjust the lighting to get a better view. It's still a tough view. Again, there's more viscoelastic. Got plenty of viscoelastic. Okay, going for the lens. Let's get that lens in the capsule bag. 
and make sure you open that up in the bag. It's sometimes going to be hard to see the Rexus now because of the loss of the red reflex. Make sure that's nicely in the capsule bag and you're sure of it. You don't want that thing to be sitting in the sulcus. Yep, I can see that. Some of those reflections, you can see it's definitely behind the Rexus. It's beautifully done. It's a tough case. So you may want to consider for future traumatic cataract cases using that air bubble and just putting in a tiny bit of tripen, just enough to paint the anterior lens capsule instead of doing the big fill. The big fill of, visco, uh, of tripan blue dye makes it easy to see, but if there is zone or weakness, you're going to have it going back into the anterior hyaluronic face and burger space and all that. So be cautious in these traumatic white cataracts. Nicely done, my friend. Now, remember, new podcast every single week. I promise you'll learn so much. It is definitely worth your time.